Hey guys, welcome back to Pass Money Plan. Today's topic, we're going to be talking about if money does or does not buy happiness. This is a, a great topic. So, Kirby, you can start this one off because I know how you feel about this one. Um. Yeah, and the crazy part is I always hear people talk about, and I think it's like a subliminal message. And what I mean by that is, so I always see, you know, I, I see the people that have money say, you know, money doesn't buy happiness. But the thing, then the thing is, is I hear people that never have money at all, they say the same thing. Money don't buy happiness. And then so what I um, extrapolate from that is that they're listening to people that have money tell them that and they repeating what, what is said. The truth is, is, and this is what I always say. I said it to you when I first met you. I said it to anybody else who always say money don't buy happiness. I said, how about make the money first and then tell me if it buy happiness or not. But in the grand scheme of things, if we just answer the question, does money buy happiness, point blank period, the answer is yes. And the reason why I say Yes, is because, and this is just simple extrapolation from what's said. All the rich people always say money by happiness. You can hear uh, Bill Gates. You can, I, and I'm excluding Warren Buffett on purpose because you never hear him say this. But you can Bill Gates. You can hear entertainers, movie stars, rappers, athletes, yada yada yada. Money don't buy happiness. Money don't buy happiness. Money don't buy happiness. So if their goal is to be happy, why haven't they given away the money? The reason why they haven't given away the money is because, and this is just my belief, this is not Alex's belief, this is not this is not anybody's belief of my own. The reason why they haven't given away the money because they don't believe that money buys happiness is because money does buy happiness. That's why they're not giving away the money. They're not giving away the money because... They want those people that don't have it already to think that, oh, money don't buy happiness, so there's no need for me to get the money. There's no need for me to go strive for to be the LeBron James. There's no need for me to strive to be the Michael Jordans. There's no need for me to strive to be the Grant Cardones, the Robert Kiyosaki's, the, um, the Dave Ramsey's. Because the reason why they don't want you to strive for that is because they still need people to work, 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 and be the employees of the companies that they're creating. But I'm going to tell you now, I don't give a damn if anybody else tell you, I don't give a damn what they say. Money does buy happiness. Alex got a better breakdown of this scenario, but I'm just cutting straight to the point. Money buys happiness. Alex, what you got? Yeah, I would ask people what makes them happy. And most people can answer what makes them happy. And even if that's spending more time with family, if that's having more time with your kids, more time with your wife, if it's spending time with them, if it's going traveling, if it's doing whatever, money buys all that. Money can separate you from a job independently and allow you to spend 24-7 with your family. Money can give you an indefinite amount of time to travel. Money can buy whatever material things if people are materialistic money ultimately buys people freedom and freedom gives you the ability to decide what you want to do with your life people get wrapped up in their day-to-day -day, nine to five knowing that they have to put in eight hours a day at a, at a job and it doesn't allow them to think on anything else other than their day job they sleep eight hours, they work eight hours, they're probably commuting two hours. And so they're left with about six hours to their family or whatever they're doing at home and then the weekends. And so they never think about what do they actually want to do with their life. If you had more free time, you could think of what you want to do with their life. And so that basically, I mean, money will give you freedom. It will allow you to decide what actually makes you happy and to just do that. So I don't think happiness itself 
is a purchasable item or purchasable purchasable thing, but things that can lead you to be happy that can be purchased, yeah. So and in essence it buys happiness. So yeah, I mean, and you're absolutely correct. I mean, I mean, we go and agree to disagree on one thing. You say happiness is not a personal, a purchasable thing. And I agree with you to an extent, but I'm just going to use my situations. All right. So family members move to where we're at. I'm happy that I can afford to house them, put them in a financial situation so they can better themselves. There is the number to happiness. So that's so that's what I'm saying. I mean, I understand what you're saying, but what I'm saying is I'm disagreeing to a point is because it makes me happy that I can go, my mom can physically take care of herself, financially take care of herself. Yeah, did it take, maybe take help for me on the front end? Yeah. But if I didn't have the money on the front end, then there's no back end for her to take care of herself. So, yes, that makes me happy. Am I happy that I don't have to sit there and hope that a W-2 job is sitting there taking care and paying for me to live and taking care of my family to live? Yeah. Am I sitting here waiting for a job, uh, a paycheck to drop every 40 hours or, you know, 80 hours every week? to hit my paycheck so I can take my family out and, you know, eat or enjoy entertainment. I mean, literally, I mean, when I say literally, I mean, literally. 10 minutes ago from now, Alex, I was texting you saying, hey, I'm out with my family and I'm headed home. So if I had to wait, and this is not like a normal pay weekend for, you know, the normal conventional W2 jobs, if I was sitting there waiting for a job, then I'm sitting there wondering, like, oh, God, what, what am I going to do? How am I going to take my family out? I mean, it's a holiday or whatever. But I didn't go out for the holiday. I just wanted to go out because I just wanted to listen to live music. If I'm waiting on these W-2 jobs or waiting on whatever, and I don't have income coming in from somewhere else, then I have to sit there and I'm a slave to the job that I work. That's not that's not feasible. So, am I happy because I'm able to to provide these uh, opportunities? Happy to provide these uh, different nuances and things that my family is able to do with or without a job? Hell yeah! So, happiness is created because of the money that you have in your bank account. That's just my thinking. And I'm again, I'm not pushing this on Alex or no, nobody else, but that's what it does. I've been broke. I've been super broke. I've been super, super broke. Where ramen noodle sandwiches was the only thing I had. And then I look from then and until now where if I'm hungry, I could just get up and be like, oh, I'm going to go eat somewhere. I go eat at three, four, five star restaurants if I want to just because I'm hungry. I mean, well, of course, you know, I'm just going to Wendy's, but I'm just saying, but I have the opportunity to go to anywhere place I want to go. So, yeah, it makes me happy that I can do what I want to do because I have the money and aptitude to do it. But it's not a, it's not a, it's, for me, it's not a quagmire. It's not a, you know, special thing. It's not something, oh, let me fake like, oh, money's not everything. Money is everything in this world, in the United States. If you don't have it, you're fucked. That's just how I look at it. And I'm sorry for being over aggressive saying it, but that's how strong I feel about it. If you don't have it, you're just screwed. And I can't, I can't put it in no other simple way. Tell us what you got. Yeah, no, I don't disagree with you. I don't think you're disagreeing with me either. Because like I said, you can buy things that make you happy. My point was just, there's no, unless you're taking drugs, there's no dopamine of happiness that you can purchase. That's all I'm saying. But yeah, there's everything right, right. You want in the world right. that makes you happy. Yeah, you could buy it. And that's my point too. I mean, for me, what what causes my happiness is the freedom and the purpose that I feel in doing what I do. You know, I don't think I would be as happy 
working 90 hours in Wall Street, making six figures as I am now doing what I'm doing, still working a lot, but with a purpose, you know, not working at a bank. Right. Or whatever. So, you know, I think it has to be done correctly. You know, money coming from doing something with a purpose, you know, with a with an objective or a mission in sight, you know, if you're just working at a hedge fund or something, you might be making a lot of money, but are you even, do you even have your freedom? So like I said, I think freedom coming from happiness buys everything that you could ever want in life. I don't agree with you hundred percent. Yeah. All right. With all that being said, I ain't going to go jump off the deep end because I, I want to go <laughs> way far with this, but uh, thanks for everybody for listening in. Please like, uh, subscribe and comment and we'll see you in the next video. Yeah, have a good one. See you guys.